here again with Saturday Morning Gaming, and this week we're going to do something a little different. Yeah, this is a great rendition of Moonlight Densetsu. It almost beats out DuckTales for the NES as the best 8-bit rendition of a cartoon song. But anyway, this week I'm dedicating this video to someone. A certain someone called Bigger Better Barbie. She does so much for so many people. She knows what I'm talking about, but... But this week, someone's gonna give back. So Barbie, this one's for you. We're gonna be playing through the entire game. It's very short, and actually, it's a sucky game. As great a rendition of Moonlight and Setsu this is, it goes downhill once you hit start, but... Anyway, bear with me, Barb. This one's for you, since I know you're a Sailor Moon fan. Let's go. And now I got a bunch of stuff I can't read. I think this lets you play with Chibi Moon. This just was Sailor Moon. Well, we're gonna go with Sailor Moon, because why not? Wow, great 8-bit rendition of the theme song, and it really sounds like... Okay, okay, what's her name? The voice actress. Kotono Mitsuishi, I think it is. I basically consider her the Peter Collins Optimus Prime of anime, because... I really can't imagine anyone else doing it better. To the point that, just like Peter Cullen coming back as Optimus Prime, Sailor Moon's original voice actress is still doing it. She's in the reboot series. Anyway, you can see. Even on a Game Gear, Usagi's sprite just took up way too much space, and oh! And on a TV, it looks even more ridiculous. Bon voyage, pussy. What? I told you last week I watched Batman 1966 again. It's not like the line, Sometimes you just can't get rid of a bomb, would work in any context in this game, believe me. Anyway... Yeah, control is kind of floaty, the jumps especially, so it's kind of hard to land jumps sometimes, which is really bad because there's some really small moving platforms and shit, but... The main problem with this game is in that it's too hard. It's actually really simplistic. It's... Ah! Oh! <laughs> wow! Epic fail right on the opening level. <laughs> oh well, let's go. Another thing I can bitch about? Well, you can only play as Usagi and Chibiusa. That's it. Now, when you mention the third season of Sailor Moon to an anime fan, what's the first thing they're gonna say? Oh, shit. Well, they're gonna probably think of Sailor Uranus and Neptune, aka the baddest-ass lesbians out there. But, you don't get to play as them in this game. You don't get to play as them in a game based on the season that introduced them and focus heavily on their character development. But that was Bandai for you back then. They they really And I've been listening to like videos from what's his name? Jeremy Parrish about Game Boy games. Every time a Gundam game from like Bandai or whatever comes up, he's like you can just hear him groaning. And look how f how close I was to completing the level. Look at that. It's ridiculous. All you gotta do and the talisman just drops in your lap. And I'm about to die again. Oh. And she just doesn't come back. Bon Voyage pussy indeed, because... If you remember that particular monster in the anime, she'd fall apart into puzzle pieces and just reassemble herself. He's like a puzzle piece T-1000. But nope, she just vanishes and doesn't come back in this game. But you're wondering, that, yeah, this is on a Retron 5, and it's not, I don't have like a ROM downloaded onto an SD card or something, this is the actual Japanese card. It's also complete, I also have the box of instructions. Why? I saw it for about $21 on eBay, and I figured, why not? And... See what I mean about how easy it is to miss jumps? Well... I dedicate a video to someone, and I immediately start sucking balls at it. Well... Whoa, whoa, 
down, down. Give me that, give me that, give me that. And roses make her invincible because... I don't know. Something to do with Tuxedo Cayman. Yeah, I, I say Tuxedo Cayman, not Tuxedo Mask, because... So much stuff in the original anime was in English already, so I figure... If Naoko Takeuchi wanted it to be Tuxedo Mask, she would have had it as Tuxedo Mask in the... But, nope. It was Tuxedo Cayman all the way. So that's what I call him. And I still call him Sailor Senshi, even though the redub calls him Guardians. It's like, that's so generic, Guardians. I'd rather have Scouts call him that than Guardians. At least that has a little bit of a unique flair to it. Alright, there's the mirror. As you can guess, this game is ridiculously easy, straightforward platform, but there is one hidden thing you can do on the third part of each stage. Is it up there? No. Now, people who watch the anime have know that you gotta get the three... Yeah, bon voyage, pussy. You gotta get the three talismans, and the third was right up there. The garnet rod. You gotta kinda hunt for it. Once you get that, just like the Holy Grail, it becomes Super Sailor Moon and shit. Of all the different looks Sailor Moon, I like the the super look from part of Season 3 and all of Season 4 the best. Okay, my favorite was, was Ami, Sailor Mercury. She was just such a cute little thing and super intelligent, and here's that, that bitch you all. And that's all she does. She just queefs out a blood soaked baseball. And it's like, where's her big ass flamethrower? Remember that? That would have been a, that would have been a fun boss battle, but no, we we gotta deal with this crap. Yeah. Ugh, 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 even though I don't have anything to teabag you with. So, Barb, enjoying it so far? Uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to get back in the groove again, doing one video a week at... Oh, yeah, that's right. You get these weird-ass bonus stages, and... Okay, Machiro, come on, come on, come on! That reminds me, I got a new group of rats, and I actually named one of them Machiro. <laughs> Alright, just... Uh, she kind of had like blue fur. And she... Oh yeah, I'm on a roll. And yeah, we got Ami, my favorite. Yeah, I did a practice run. I kind of know the trick to it. get a bonus or what? Not that it really means. Like, like I'm gonna go back into work on Monday and brag how I got a high score on Sailor Moon S for the Game Gear. Then again, I got a co-worker, a senior technologist. She still has her daughter's Game Gear just buried somewhere. I asked her if I could borrow it, but she, she was afraid of, like, viruses or something. Seriously, viruses on Game Gear cards. Nowadays, you gotta worry about that shit with bullshit on Google Play that could have malware, but... Ugh. Oh, I got the thing. I hate the bouncing bowling ball things. Die already! I think, actually, Chibiusa can take him out in fewer hits. As if that makes any damn sense. Ah! Not reacting fast enough to take it, to avoid the shit from the ceiling. Well, at least I reached the end of the stage. Got the space sword. 
Yes, that's actually what it's called, people who don't give a shit about the anime. Hang on. It's really weird how I got into the anime, because... For a lot of people my age, this was their gateway drug into it, this or Dragon Ball Z or Pokemon, but for me it was none of the above. It was Magic Knight Ray Earth. Which kind of had a you know, magical girl thing going, but in a way it was a lot different from Sailor Moon. So how the fuck did I get into Sailor Moon? Well, I heard about it. I kind of knew about the characters from online, people I talked to, and it seemed interesting. I wanted to get into it one day, but I kept hearing about how the... English version was absolute roadkill stew. But then, right after Christmas 2005, I decided to treat myself to the entire series on DVD uncut on eBay, just on a whim. And, well, I felt it was money well spent. Ah, oh, damn. I think this is it anyway. Yeah, so yeah, I like Sailor Moon, to the point that I lament how there really isn't a good Sailor Moon game out there, unless you count another story, which is, in all truthfulness, a poor man's Chrono Trigger. Gonna give me a heart? No, of course not. Oh uh, yeah, this was really out of the way. But still, as far as superhero games on the Game Gear are concerned, god damn. Damn it! I think there's infinite continues at least. Not that you really should need it for this game. So yeah, as simplistic as this game is, there's even worse superhero games on the Game Gear. Like, I'm sure people remember. Well, not really. Me ranting about the X-Men games for the Game Gear. Now though Now those were fuck assular. The point that now that I've got this adapter to let me play Game Gear games on my TV. Oh no! Shit balls! I forgot to go get the talisman again. Oh well. Let's make do without it. So anyway, back to when I first got those Sailor Moon DVDs, it was right around the time when I also... Ooh! ...was playing those X-Men RPGs. X-Men Legends 1 and 2. So when I played those and was watching the anime, I was thinking, God damn, why is there no Sailor Moon game like this? To, to this day, I think if you want to make a fun Sailor Moon game, that's the formula to follow. I know shoujo anime, in comparison with shonen stuff, you know, like Dragon Ball and Naruto and shit like that, it's less about action and conquering an external threat and more about relationships and stuff. But when you're playing as them in a game, c come on, come on, you want to see them blow shit up and punch faces in. And I, I just took out Mamet. Wouldn't you just love to play as Sailor Jupiter and, and take on Mamet as the boss and just, just punch her face out over and over and over again. And what the hell is this? I I don't understand this one either. Is this like a Hotel Mario thing? <sighs> Let's go all the way to the top. What is it with this elevator action bullshit? Shut up, Ray. Stop calling me a meatball head. And you stop calling me a dango or whatever. Well, that was a whole lot of nothing. Alright, level three. Just going down the street. So, you know, I forgot to mention, the first level takes place at a circus. Aren't we a whole season, a whole story arc away from that shit, the Dead Moon Circus? Ah, oh, you... Ugh! It's not exactly old school Castlevania stiff controls, but damn. And having such a huge fucking sprite taking up so much space on the screen doesn't help either. Is 
I didn't actually play this on a Game Gear. I play, first tried this out on Emulator, and even then... Really? Who the hell is dropping, like, blocks from fucking Super Mario Brothers? Okay, I got an extra heart. That's good. And you again. Get an extra heart, and alright, they got the sword. Why do I have to find them again when I've already collected them in the last two stages? Ugh, I don't know. So yeah, superhero games on the Game Gear. This isn't that bad, but it's definitely not that good either. Ugh. At least the Batman game I played last week, that was actually fun. And she bounces all the way down the fucking stairs. Ugh. Oh, really? It's gonna be on every damn ledge, isn't it? Ugh. So yeah, Batman Returns for the Game Gear, that was fun. Also, fun fact, that Batman's Returns, which was also on the Master System, it was developed by the purse uh, not person, the development team that went on to make Sonic Triple Trouble for the Game Gear. And even later on than that, ported the original two Metal Gear games to the PS2 in Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence. So, if they were able to do that later on, no wonder they were able to make a decent Batman game for, for an 8-bit system. And I also got Incredible Hulk for the Game Gear, which I played a little bit of. It, it's decent. I mean... When it comes to Hulk games, nothing's gonna beat out Ultimate Destruction for, like, the Xbox and GameCube, but... Eh, it's a fun little portable Hulk game, I guess. What else? 8-bit superhero games. Oh, yeah, but it's not on the Master System. It only came out in Europe. No, I mean, it's not on the Game Gear, but it came out on the Master System only in Europe. The Flash. Based on the old TV show, not the new one, of course. Hello in your face, pussy. Uh, Velo- Sh Shouldn't it be Tellu next? They can't get the fucking order right. An equal sign. Really. In this game, instead of killer nanomachines, Veloy will have to use... MATH! Ah, oh, come on. Be a good girl and take the flaming death frisbee in the face. Alright, what's the bonus game this time? Oh, the trivia game, and lucky me, I can't read a lick of Japanese. If there was, like, some translated ROM out there, I bet I could ace all this, but... Who the hell would bother <laughs> translating? Okay, I think this gives you like the extra ammo to use the moon spiral heart attack or whatever it's called. Okay, the music here is nice, and at this point, with, you get a lot more platforming. It actually feels like a game almost. So there was never really any good Sailor Moon games besides another story. Bandai also made... Like, the beat-em-ups, 1 and 2. I mean, based off the first and second seasons for the Super NES. I actually had the Famicom card for the first one, and I've played the second one. I also have this Famicom... No, Super Famicom card for this weird puzzle game based on the third season. I tried it out, it's... A lot like a lot of the downloadable puzzle games you can get for your smartphone, believe it or not. I need to give that a try for another Saturday morning gaming. Well, there 
was another a decent portable one, Sailor Moon R for yeah, it was for the Game Boy, but as long as you don't play like the semi RPG mode, which had me clueless, I had to like go find Naru, do something about Ubino, something, 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 I don't know. But if you just play the mode that's a straight up action, it's actually kind of fun. In fact, I think I did a Saturday morning gaming for it early in the start of 2017. Still, just still waiting patiently for a kick-ass action RPG based on Sailor Moon. Just run around as like Jupiter and Uranus and just beat the shit out of everyone. Oh, just in the back. What episode was that monster from? I cannot recall. All I remember is the puzzle cat girl thing. Four hearts, but whatever. And this actually feels like a game. Sending a construction site for a skyscraper. I mean, this is a setting I actually see on the TV. Yeah, versus Kalianite the first time. Like a Tokyo Tower in the third season. Yeah, this is kind of like that. At least they try to pay some respect to the source material. Bandai just wasn't known for doing that. They also made this... In fact, I also got that here. I kind of picked it up at a Black Friday thing. Dragon Power for the NES, which was based on a Dragon Ball game for the Famicom. Oh man, it is terrible. In fact, I actually do have a complete copy of this one Dragon Ball Z Famicom game, it's like, hang on, hang on, it's in my entertainment center, let's see what, yeah, yeah, here it is, who makes it? Oh, Bandai makes this too. I heard it's actually decent, but, yeah, 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 Bandai, sometimes they do good, but most of the time it's, I mean, those two Super Famicom beat-em-ups. Put those side-by-side -side with something from Konami, Turtles, X-Men, Simpsons. There's no comparison. I mean, the Simpsons and X-Men, there was a sense of... Er there was vibrancy to it. it was like, everything just jumped out at you. The colors and... The action was fast and furious. And when you had a whole bunch of people, like playing as all four Simpsons family members or all four Ninja Turtles, oh man, you crowd around the arcade cabinet. Oh, that was so much fun. Or today, you get the versions for Xbox Arcade or the... Or you play online with four people. Oh yeah. But those Super Famicom beat em ups were just so, so dull in comparison. I mean, Sailor Moon deserved. I think she did have this one actual arcade game that was a bit better. But. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, oh no. Oh, you did. No, you didn't. I just keep Okay, right here. Here we go. Super Sailor Moon time again. How long have I been playing? 24 minutes. Jeez. Should have beaten the game by now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've heard the... Okay, now I think we're up against Tellaloo. Yeah, yeah. I pronounce it with two U's, because, again, I... Watched the original anime first. I never watched the dub. Well, not the Deke dub. I've seen a few episodes of of the new dub from Viz, thanks to Yahoo. But 
I know it's supposed to be spelled T-E-L-L-U, but I, I, when I listen to the original Japanese, I, I keep hearing Telelu. I know that's probably just how, the way pronunciation works in Japanese, but still, that, that's what's stuck in my head. It just sucks that Telelu and Vol... Oh, what the... Oh, that's, that, that was some other dumbass bonus game. You gotta keep the Luna P-Ball between the two cats, or something, something, something. Okay, I like the music here. It's very definitely the last stage. Basically approaching the Witch's Five Slayer in the, s in the sewers or whatever. Underneath the, what was it, Mugen Academy, something, something. Ah! Yeah, this is a nice 8-bit tune. It sounds game geary, if that makes any sense. Ow! All right, back in business. It's like Giganta or Godzilla was hiding out in the sewers and had a cold and just sneezed uncontrollably and the boogers got everywhere. That's honestly what I'm thinking. Speaking of Giganta, hey Barbie, I think both you and I agree that when they make Wonder Woman 2, it's time for live-action frickin' Giganta. I, uh, I mean, the universe movies, yeah, they've been hit and miss, but... Come on, l let's take advantage of this opportunity and get live-action Giganta. Oh, shit. Grab the rose too late. Uh, real, real nervous with these platforms because they're floaty controls and the invincibility is over. I also have this Wings Club game for the Game Boy Advance that I just picked up on a whim. It wasn't that expensive. I was playing on just ripping on that, too. I mean, I'll dedicate that one to you next. I don't know. I actually couldn't stand the cartoon. It was like... It was just... Someone had the idea... Okay, let's combine Harry Potter and Sailor Moon. Only without an ounce of wit or an originality. Sorry, and I gave it a shot. I went through almost all the first season, so I give. All right, final boss. We got like, okay, those twin petrol. I think their names are. I can never remember which one is which. Bah, I can remember all their. The names of the Deathbusters, but all right. There's the blue one. There's the orange one. Ow! I'm gonna die, aren't I? Yeah, this is this is kind of fun. You got a rhythm going in, and he's. <laughs> I know it's wrong to laugh at that, but that's probably the funniest thing in the whole game. Gee, I wonder if the team is up here. It's not like these blocks have led to anything else in other stages. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Give me a heart. Eh, suck my ass. Alright, let's try this again. Alright. I 
honestly don't remember what any of the Daimon are, except for the Neko Nell puzzle cat girl thing. Oh boy, gimme. Ah, oh, get out of my face! Let's get a rhythm going. Let's keep my distance. Uh, being Super Sailor Moon, just flinging the tiara. It's one thing I didn't like about, about the last story arc. It's like the whole thing with the Eternal Sailor Moon. Where did her tiara go? That was like one of her basic attacks. It's like she always had the tiara, was always useful, but then the tiara is gone. Ah, shh. Fuck you, Kelly Knight. Teleport to like Dracula, that's what it makes me think of, but it's kind of hard to tell where she's going to appear. She doesn't exactly telegraph it, like, with a beam from the sky. Yeah, die, 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 that looks so wrong. Oh, and by the way, that was the final boss. You don't face Professor Tomo, you don't Pharaoh 90, Mistress 9, none of that. That... So, as the last fuck you from Bandai, they don't let you fight who was actually supposed to be the final boss. Just like Sailor Moon R for the Super NES, you don't fight, like, Death Phantom or Wiseman or whatever his name was. Now credits rolling completely in Japanese, which I can't read, so sorry, Barb. I, eh, there's not much more to say. How long was I playing? Over half an hour. Oh well, there's worse ways to kill a half hour. I was dedicated to you, bigger, better Barbie. You've given so much. Thought I'd just take a half hour to just do something for you. Hopefully. I can do something more substantial in the future. There's this guy I was talking to. He had something for you and your brother, but he injured himself. Like, a fingernail got ripped out or something, so it's going to be a bit longer. But you know what I'm talking about. It'll come soon. Anyway, just, just stay frosty, Barbie, and I'll let you know next time I dedicate a video to 